I just told y'all official Uber is upstairs. This stop is actually before Coca Cabana, so it makes sense to just stop here real quick. Make sure you do a little bit of research about this before you go out to Rio. These little rope things on the floor with the little mark around them. Bring your converter. A lot of people forget this. I forgot this. I had to buy one out here. What's up, guys? It's your boy on check in. And look, it's early in the morning. Bon dia. If you don't know what that is, that's Portuguese for good morning. <laughs> All right, we heading out. So this video is going to be Brazil while well, Rio, because I'm in Rio, started kit. So the first thing you want to know is that you don't have to prepare yourself for a long walk. Brazil got one of the longest walks to the immigration desk that I've ever seen. I think I might have the longest. Get out these folks away. But, um, the good thing is, the immigration desk is the fastest I've ever seen. So, they take literally minutes, take less than five minutes. And I've never seen a line here. There was a lot of people on my plane, so it might be a line, but we're gonna see. But yeah, guys, we're in Brazil. I'm gonna give you all the things you need to know that first day when you first hop off that plane. Rule number one, make sure you got everything. <laughs> You guys don't know i actually left a bag on the plane one time with about a thousand dollars worth of stuff in it so now i triple quadruple check before i get off the plane but i'm all good here got a couple things heading out we got wise waiting for me you guys gonna be wise but look got a bunch of people moving past me i don't like that it's gonna be real starter kit let's get it Boy, y'all check it, not a YouTuber, you know the, you know the slogan. I guess one good thing is they got a bunch of uh, artwork to keep you entertained. So if you guys remember, this is actually where I was walking when I got denied my last time. Well, almost denied entry because of the stamps. But guess what, guys? Let me show you guys something. Bow, I got a new passport, so that fixes that problem. So fingers crossed, this time everything goes well. And I don't gotta walk all the way back to talk to somebody. Cause this walk is treacherous. This walk is treacherous. I absolutely recommend if you're a person like me, that doesn't take too, too many bathroom breaks during the flight. So just a heads up, a lot of people forget how far Brazil is. Brazil is extremely far. <laughs> the flight for me was 10 hours after my layover. Um, I don't think more than maybe three cities have direct flights from the US to Brazil. I think Miami is one, Houston is one. And I can't think of any other one. If you know another city that has a direct flight to Brazil, let me know. Um, I, think, I think every time I came here, I came through Houston. The first time I did, the second time I did, the, no, the third time I did, I think the second time I came through Miami. But yeah, let me know down below. But yeah, guys, we're about to approach the, the immigration line. Let's see if my luck continues. There was a lot of people on my flight, so let's see. Four hours later. All right, guys, so I had to stop recording real quick because they don't let you record in there. But quick rundown, you're gonna go through immigrations. It took me like five minutes to get through. After that, I went to the store. If you guys know me, always go to the store for your essential needs, your essential vacay needs. And when I say essential vacay needs, I mean this thing right here. If you wanna indulge in some drinking, um, I always recommend you get it from the airport. Some people say the airport is more expensive, but you know it's safe. You know it's official, you know it's 
officially imported from wherever you're getting it for me officially imported from mexico is it made in mexico i can't remember but wherever you're getting it from you could stand it rest assured it's official so look when you first get out you're gonna get this you're gonna get a little taxi line over there they're gonna ask you if you want to um if you want a taxi i always do uber i'm gonna show you guys where to catch the uber if you want to do uber behind me is the exchange if you didn't exchange your money and you need something quick i always recommend you do something small in the airport because you will get a bad um a bad rate so i'll check in with you guys in a minute let's do it so we got my man wise is in the building man we yo, good yo, to go wise back in at the it. building so look i just got here so i just told y'all official uber is upstairs they got people over there wise told me they over there saying they uber man sure so these dudes in the yellow shirt they're they official taxi man they, they are not ubers so oh, if they oh, tell man. you that they uber they, they know that you're about to call the uber so they're trying to get you before so just just call uber because it's going to be cheaper yeah, okay. they saying they saying why does it look like lebron james what y'all think <laughs> <laughs> Gusta, Gusta LeBron James. Senor, Gusta, LeBron James, Gusta. What? LeBron James. The bang. <laughs> All right, guys, so you won't be like wise, man. Don't be like me. I'm out here. I still got my sweater on. It's bacon. It's bacon. But yeah, like I said, guys, the first stop I always do when I come to Brazil, most of the time I stay in Coca, uh, Coca Cabana. But this stop is actually before Coca Cabana, so it makes sense to just stop here real quick, get your pics before it gets too crowded. Um, I think the crowd beat us here today. Yeah, because we get we had a crazy amount of traffic. But yeah, first stop always come here. This is the steps just to get it out the way because you don't want to be Baku Cabana and have to come here and do all of this, especially um, the later they get in the day. So take care of this first. All right, guys, another good reason to come out here, not only is it closer to the airport, is a lot of times you can't check in until like 2, 3 o'clock. So if you get one of those cases where you can't check in until later and you got an early flight, come over here. It's restaurants over here, little place you can get cafe and all that stuff. I got a video out here, a whole video out here so you can see what's going on around here. But look, we're going to take some flicks and then I'll be back. What's up guys? So we just got an Airbnb. Look, still here. You already know who it is. It's your boy out checking. We still here with the starter kit. So this time I'm out here. You know I got wise with me. We got something a little higher than I usually do. Nate should be on the way, but I wanted to show you guys the Airbnb. Just as a little treat, because you know I'm always traveling and I usually don't get this type of Airbnb, but I wanted to show you guys what Brazil has to offer. So as you guys see, the buildings are usually a little a little sketchy outside and inside like the outdoor area but once you get inside the places if you got a luxury place i'm telling you you gonna appreciate it and you're gonna see how lit it is i don't know why they they outdate the buildings but insides are usually completely renovated this is the airbnb if you guys like it i'll leave the link below but yeah guys so we just checked out the room so you always want to check this out it's the first time it's happened to me i see uh cameras in here I actually don't know if that's legal, but you know different countries got different laws and everything. But here's one of the bedrooms. Um, make sure you check that the place actually has AC. That's something that a lot of times, even I forget to do sometimes. Now you can see the first bedroom got the best view. Again, in here, the camera is covered, which is good. It's one bedroom, it's three bedrooms in total. So that one is covered. In here, bedroom is covered. Second bedroom big bed we go out here again nice view a little down but still a nice view we go out here so this was actually uh surprising because i've been in a nice airbnb before in brazil but like i said a lot of times like some places are outdated this actually has a fully renovated um kitchen which is dope and two bathrooms and one is a private bathroom so the bathroom in here let me guys show show you guys bathroom in here chandelier bedroom but you can completely close this wow now you're in like your own apartment basically i would love to even just rent this as a room like come on now own shower own bedroom 
Then over here, you got your TV. And you still got a nice little uh, glimpse of the, of the beach over here. It's just not as good as the other ones here. We got to figure out how to do this. It's like... <laughs> I don't even know if this fully goes down. This might just be the level that it stays at. But yeah, it's to cover the uh So yeah, this was this was quite crazy. Boom, another camera. Cameras in every room, guys. So this is the penthouse. Um it's 12 floors in this building. We are on the 12th floor, so that's that's just how that goes. This came with an air fryer, which I thought was super dope. Um and yeah, so we in here guys. I'm gonna get unpacked. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna finish up the starting kit um for today but i'm gonna keep it going every day so you guys can stay updated on what to do how to do it how to go about things in brazil let's get it thing first normally the first place tourists go when they reach rio de janeiro is the beach so we're gonna start here when you get to the beach remember never accept the first price somebody's trying to sell you something the price is always marked up so start loading the price they give you second you want to pay attention to these little rope things on the floor with the little mark around them what's actually going on here and i didn't even notice until i got on the beach is the sand is super hot so you put this rope here with the water spraying out everywhere so you can walk on the beach comf comfortably until you get down to the to the bottom part of the beach now once you get down to the bottom part of the beach it's a lot cooler a lot of times you get to the water and walk in the water but until you get there make sure you walk on these ropes i used to be really flabbergasted at the point of these ropes but they are lifesaver trust me next you want to bring your own little carpet or blanket if you don't want to buy a chair. Now, this really depends on what type of beach person you are. If you're a beach person that really likes to lounge out, just hang out in the chair, um, sip on caparinhas all day, cool. You could do that, no problem. Um, but if you're the type who you don't want to be hassled about the chairs and all that, or you may want to stay on the beach a little later, because a lot of times they collect those chairs around 7 p.m., you know, 8 o'clock the latest, you have to get a chair back, bring your own blanket, and it'll save you a lot of money over those days. Another option is you could just buy a chair. Uh, it may come out to the same if you're buying, uh, you know, two different sets of chairs every day. It may come out to the same if you just buy a $10 chair once you get to Rio. So, you know, that's another option you got. But I always grab one of these little blankets. I brought it my first time in Rio and I just use it every time. It's just really convenient to, to use and to have with me. Um, next, bring your own drinks if you don't want to keep buying caparinhas. Again, it depends what type of person you are. Some people go on vacation and they don't care about spending, you know, they got the unlimited, they got the Bill Gates money. They just keep keep the budget coming, just keep buying it. But a good idea is always to bring your own bottle on the beach and, you know, you can pour up there. Um, before we get off the beach topic, I gotta, gotta say, take advantage of the kioskis. These are the little like stands by the beach. A lot of people head straight to like the real fancy restaurants or, you know, other local spots. But these little stands have good food, good prices. I'm telling you, trust me, get the get the garlic shrimp, ask for extra garlic. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. All right, guys. So next is nightlife. You want to make sure you do a little bit of research about this before you go out to Rio because there's so many options, but just going over really, really quick. The weekdays, a lot of people think, oh, nothing's going on in Rio, but you just got to kind of know the spot. So Monday, you got Pedro de Sol, probably butchered that, but it's the nice little, um, they usually have a tent over it and it's like stairs and look at this video if you don't know what I'm talking about, but it's a nice little spot you could go and everybody goes there on Monday nights. Um, so that's pretty much your Monday. Tuesday, you more want to go to, you know, check out Lapa, um, Leblon. It's a pretty quiet night. Same thing for Wednesday. Uh, Thursdays are known for Leblon. Um, you could go there or Baja de, de, de Chijuca. Uh, Baja de Chijuca. You could go to either one of those spots. Those are usually pretty rocking on uh, Thursdays. Friday, the whole arsenal should be pretty good. Lapa, Leblon. Baja, uh, you can pick any one of those and you should be able to have a great time. Same thing for Saturday. And um, Sunday is kind of a cooler day, but again, uh, Lapa, Leblon, your best bets on Sunday. Lastly, on the nightlife tip, don't be afraid to leave the tourist areas. So here I went up to Hosinho, which is the favela at night. 
Um, of course, try to go with a local, but I've heard it's completely safe to go by yourself. This spot was Miranchi de Hosinia, and this other spot I went to is Casa Rio Black, or Casa Black Rio, Casa Rio Black it is. Casa Rio Black, I had a super good time. It's like 50 minutes from Rio, but it's worth every second because it is so lit and you're gonna get um, good hip hop and good Brazilian music. So definitely do not be afraid to go. I definitely tried to get something while you're out because one night I came home and tried to get takeout because I was starving and there's no good food options. This is what arrived, so just do that. All right, what's up guys? I'm back, checking here, starter kit. Well, look, I'm about to leave. I just want to give you guys these last few pointers before I head out. Make sure you bring this stuff, man. Please, please, please bring this stuff because you will need it. So look. All right, guys, so look. First converter. So with the last, well, there's four things I want to tell you guys before I get out of here. Bring your converter. A lot of people forget this. I forgot this. I had to buy one out here. I have two of these at home now. <laughs> if you guys watched my last um, Brazil video, you'll see I forgot it then. So always pack this before you come to Brazil because you will forget if you don't. That's one. Two, off spray. Make sure you get your mosquito spray. I also said this in the last video, but it's just important, important, important because I got a deadly one right on my ankle that I'm going to show you guys. What's up guys, if you like the shirt you see me wearing in this video or any of my other videos, check out the description box below to get yours.